everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name's Allie and today I'm gonna show y'all my pretty little thing haul I've just recently started shopping at places like boohoo pretty little thing nasty gal all of those online stores because they have really really nice stuff and it's really affordable and they usually have really nice sales going on but the downside of shopping at stores like pretty little thing and boohoo is that I've had to return a lot of the stuff just because of sizing the quality is pretty nice it's just it takes trial and error to find what sizes work for you at those particular online stores. But if you can find your right size, I think it's definitely worth it because they have a lot of really, really nice stuff. It's really affordable. So for this particular haul, only about half of the stuff worked. I bought, let me think, eight? Yeah, I bought eight things. Um, I had to send one package back already because I bought it before my bigger package and I was afraid since it took so long to get here that it wouldn't get back in time to, you know, for the return to get my money back. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and sent that one back, but I took pictures of it and I'll talk about what I got later and like what it looks like and everything. But yeah, I had to return about half of the items just because they were too tight or just looked really awkward on me. But I'll still show you everything. It'll be a good laugh for everybody. <laughs> but yeah, hope y'all enjoy the video. So let's get to the clothes. All right, for the first item, I'm gonna start with something I'm very excited about. These sweatpants. They're just basic sweatpants, cuffed at the bottom. The cuff is essential because you can roll it up and it'll look cute like that too. But I am gonna roll these down. One thing I really love about these sweatpants is that they're super high-waisted. So even when it gets a little bit colder here, I can still wear them because it's still covering a lot of space and just chuck on a jacket. And I'm sure this little gap here won't get too cold. But these basic joggers are really nice to wear around the house since we can't leave right now. But they'll be really cute to wear out and about too once we can leave. Pretty Little Thing has these joggers in a lot of different colors, but I chose gray because I just really like gray and they can go with a lot of different things. So to recap, why I love these. Super duper high-waisted, which is flattering on a lot of body types. I love the, cu I love the cuffed bottoms and I love the color and they are super comfy and they don't look weird when I stand with my legs together because some sweatpants, if you put your legs together, you'll have like a weird thing right here. But these look pretty good in the crotch region. <laughs> so I got these sweatpants in a medium and I probably could have gotten a large. I mean, I'm really happy with the size I have now. They're a little bit snug here, but I am a little bit wider in this area than I usually am thanks to the quarantine diet. I just made some homemade cinnamon rolls this morning. So that's what my diet's been like for the last two months. So just a little bit snug, but I'm pretty happy as long as they don't shrink in the wash at all. And I love the bagginess that they have here. And yeah, I'm really happy with these. I'm so happy they worked out. I thought we'd start on a positive note. Now let's get to one that didn't work out for me. So this shirt, I'm just showing y'all for a size reference because obviously I'm gonna return this. I don't know if you can tell, but it is super, super duper tight on me and it's really, squishing my armpit fat out, which I don't love. I was really hoping this one would work because it looks really nice with sweatpants. And this would look really good with jeans and an oversized like plaid flannel shirt on top. It could go with a lot of things, but unfortunately this one is way too small for me. I got this in a size eight. I wanted a 10, but I, I think they were out of stock at a 10 at the time. So I thought I would give an eight a try because that's normally what I am at other stores here. This is a fail, unfortunately, but like I said before, it just takes trial and error with these stores. So next time I know that these ribbed kind of tighter shirts, I'm going to have to get in a 10, maybe even a 12. Now I'm going to try to take this off without getting any makeup on it. The next item I have to show you was a success. Thank goodness. I was really hoping this one will work out because it is so cute. It's just a cropped sweatshirt with that three quarter zip. It's actually quite warm. I'm getting pretty hot behind my rewind. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. 
And the sleeves are nice and long, which is usually a struggle for me with my really long arms, me being 5'8". And another concern with me being so tall is that if something is cropped, it's going to be way too short for me. Can you leave, please? <laughs> Can you stop making noise? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get worried with being so tall that if I get something cropped, it's gonna be way too short. But this is a medium and it's pretty long. As you can see, it's like touching my pants here. This will look really good with some sweatpants as well, or you could dress it up. And you could also pair it with a jacket on top for when it gets a lot colder. And the bottom is a little bit distressed. Not much, but I like that little detail there, how it's kind of scrunched and ruffled and a little bit distressed. And it's pretty thick. You can't see my bra through it or anything. So yeah, I'm really happy this one worked out. I'm gonna wear it a lot. Well, I was really excited for this one. But as you can see, it did not work out for me. This was a fail. Um, it looks nothing like it did on the model. It looked great on her. And this is what it looks like on me. This is the main area of concern right here. I thought these were high waisted for some reason, but after looking again, I mean, I can kind of tell they're not now. I don't mind the top. I like it. I like how long it is. You can wear it with leggings and it will look really nice or even just normal jeans. But unfortunately, I can't keep one because it came as a set. This is one of their knit loungewear sets from Pretty Little Thing. They have a lot of really nice knit ones. Um, but this one just unfortunately didn't work out for me. I don't have the body type to wear pants that aren't high-waisted. This is long enough to cover the waist, but as you can see here, it just looks too weird. Like I said, I don't mind the top. This looks nice. I would love to keep it, but I paid $33 for this and I just, I do not like the pants enough to just pay $33 for the top. This is what the neckline is. I usually don't choose necklines like this for myself because I feel like it makes my shoulders look really wide. But this one isn't too bad, I don't mind it. But yeah, it's just the pants that aren't working for me. I got this in a size medium, if that helps anybody. I think if you're really short and you're just tiny that this would look nice on you, like the, sh the pants would look okay. But I just don't have that body type, unfortunately. So this is a fail, I will be sending this one back but it's definitely not the last knit loungewear piece I'm gonna get. So I ordered this tank top from Pretty Little Thing. Obviously that's what the whole video is about. And I don't love it. It's actually not as tight as when I first put it on. When I first put it on, I was like, Ugh, I couldn't breathe in it. So I think it's loosened up a little bit, but the straps just look really weird. I don't know, maybe they're too long. It just looks funky. I don't know. I was hoping this one would fit me because, you know, it's another simple one that you can put under a lot of layers and it looks nice with a lot of things. I got this in a size eight as well. Yeah, not much to say about this one. I'm just not super happy with it. I think the, the how tight it is is fine with me now. It'll probably be okay. It's just the straps. I can't, I can't deal with the straps. This is what the back looks like. Pretty low, which I like. I just wish this was up a little bit more here. But yeah, this one's okay. Not the worst tank top I've ever seen, but I think I'm just gonna return it. So this shirt is my last success from Pretty Little Thing, unfortunately. And it's the last shirt I'll be showing y'all besides the two other ones that I got and have already returned. I'll talk about those in a minute. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was really nervous because I'm not one to usually get animal prints like this but I actually saw this shirt on Tony Said Dallas's page. I hope I said her name right, but I love her. She's a YouTuber who does a lot of clothing hauls and just stuff about fashion in general. And she's the first person that got me interested in YouTube videos about clothes and fashion and stuff like that. But she's great, she's so cute. I love her style. I would definitely go check her out. I'll link her page down below for you. But I got this shirt in a size 8. I was actually really surprised that it fit me because I tried on the other tank tops that were also a size 8 before I put this one on and it fit just fine. It's actually a little bit loose. I don't think I would ever wear it like this. I would either tuck it in like this, but I think it looks a lot cuter 
tied up. So let me just tie that back. So yeah, I think that looks a lot cuter tied up like that to the side. This is exactly what Tony did in her video. And it just looks so good on her. So I thought I'd give it a try and it looks great. I love it. And I don't have anything else like this in my wardrobe. So I'm really happy I got it. It's something different. It's something to really spice up a basic outfit, but still look really casual as well. I could probably even dress up this shirt and wear it with a black denim skirt I have for a night out, and I think that would look really cute too. I could really see myself wearing this outfit a lot. I already wear these joggers all the time. I'll get a little bit closer so you can really see the detail of it. It's that snakeskin print that's really in style right now. But yeah, I love it, and I'm really happy this one worked out. I ended up with three things out of eight. Not terrible because they're all things that I'm going to wear a lot, but now I kind of have more of an idea of what would fit me. It really depends on the material of the shirt or pants that you get. So now I know that those ribbed tank tops I'm going to need to size up in so they're not as tight on me and everything else was pretty much fine. Oh, and the tall body suits. I'll be trying those and I'll let you know how those go too. Okay, let's talk about the last two items I got from Pretty Little Thing that I already returned. I took some pictures for you so you could still see how it looked on me. You might have wondered why I mentioned that I'm going to try the tall bodysuits from Pretty Little Thing. And that's because these two items were long sleeve turtleneck bodysuits. And I was pretty happy with the fit. It was long enough in the sleeves, like it fit everywhere fine, but the only problem was it was just really uncomfortable when I buttoned it and stood up and everything. It just, it, I couldn't get over it. And if it's not comfortable, I know I'm not gonna wear it. So I thought I would just return it. So Pretty Little Thing and a lot of the other online shops have different categories of sizes. They have petite, tall, and plus size, along with their just basic sizing. I don't know if that's the right term for it. I usually buy clothes from just their basic size range, but when it comes to the bodysuits, I feel like it would be a lot more comfortable for me if I got the taller ones so they weren't as snug in that area. But that was really the only complaint I had about these two shirts. The black is it was a little see-through. It was a lot more noticeable when I was behind my ring light. When I wasn't behind the light shining on it, you couldn't really see my bra as much. I think it would have been okay with the white, but I was too afraid to put that one on because I knew I was gonna get makeup all over it. So I didn't try the white one on and I'm sorry, I didn't include a picture of that one, but I have the black one and it fit exactly the same. It came as like a combo, it was like two for the price of one. So yeah, they were the exact same shirt, just try to picture the black as white. I've really been looking for some long sleeve turtleneck shirts, so I'm definitely gonna buy some more and when I do, I'll let you know where I got them and how they looked and everything. Well, that's it for the video guys. I hope y'all really loved it and I hope this inspires y'all to do some online shopping because you deserve it. And I also hope this helps y'all whenever you're trying to decide what size to get. It really helps me seeing what size other people are and how it fits them and everything. I am 5'8", and in Australia, I'm usually a size 8, but in Pretty Little Thing, I usually get a size 10. 8 can work sometimes. US sizes, it's been so long since I shopped there, but I believe, uh, I believe I'm like a 5 or 6. Sounds kind of small. But yeah, I think US sizes, I'm like a 5 or a 6. Australia si Australian sizes are a little bit bigger, but I'm usually like an 8. But I hope this helps y'all and I hope y'all find some really cute clothes. I'm definitely going to have a lot more hauls in the future, so stay tuned for those. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.